Hey, what's happening out there, everybody? This is Lawrence Ross. Want to comment on this? I read about this earlier today, and uh, want to fill in a couple of uh, gaps on this. Uh, the organization AEW has banned Linda Hogan for life from attending any of their events, and as well as Hollywood Hulk Hogan. But in respect of ladies first, I must explain why she was banned. Uh, Linda posted a tweet the other day concerning the riots that have been happening for the past week or so. And she used the term Afro-Americans. And she said that only Afro-Americans were committing these crimes. Why is all this looting happening, etc., etc.? And the owner of AEW said, well, congratulations, you just joined your husband on being banned from all, all AEW events. You cannot go to these. And, well, this is not the first time somebody has been banned for uh, being racist. Uh, <coughs> oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> I had a little slobber going on the wrong tube. Uh, Donald Sterling, the former owner of the Clippers, was banned for life by the NBA because of racist things that he had said back in 2014. And this is no different. And Hollywood Hulk Hogan had the same thing happen to him. But it wasn't tweets that got him in trouble. It was an old, old, old clip. The article said that in 2015, Hulk Hogan was banned from AEW because... There was footage of him using racist terminology. Now, this racist terminology came from a sex tape that was made in 2006 at the home of radio personality Bubba the Love Sponge, who at that time, back in 2006, he and Hogan were as thick as thieves. They were tight. They were buddy-buddy. Hogan would be on Bubba's show all the time. There wasn't a week or two that would go by that we wouldn't hear from Hogan on the program. And Bubba, in 2006, consensually offered up his fiancé's, then fiancé, to Hogan. Hogan consented. She consented. They all consented. They all agreed that it was... So, so they agreed to the romp, and Bubba filmed it, and he had it on a DVD. And also on this DVD, he's talking to the woman. He's, he's talking to the woman in question, and he's talking about his life, and he, and he says the N-word. And he was just saying it in a contentual, and he was just saying it in context. But, so then, okay, so the tape was made in 2006, and nobody knew about it until 2012. 2012 rolls around, and one of Bubba's staff guys, a guy named Spice Boy, he gets his own show on 102.5 The Bone. And for a while, it was speculated that uh, he had stolen the tape from Bubba and tried shopping it around. He and a friend of his, a guy named Cowhead, tried shopping the tape around, and they couldn't get it. They couldn't get any money for it, so they just decided, all right, well, we'll just release it. Allegedly, mind you. So, long story short, in 2015, footage is released from the tape of Hogan talking to Bubba's then fiance, and on the tape, he did say the N-word, and that is when... Everything fell apart for him. And he came on the news and he said, well, look, it was the way that I was raised. I'm not saying that it's right. It doesn't matter if you're going to use that. It doesn't matter what defense you're going to try and mount. It's still a feeble defense regardless. And just because words have been around for X amount of years does not mean that it is proper to use them in certain contexts. So that is why Hogan is, Hollywood Hulk Hogan is banned. And now we find out that Linda is banned for basically the same thing, for using racial terminology uh, in a public forum. So that is basically that. Well, that's it for this video. I'm Lawrence Ross. Thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye-bye.